But first of all, we're going to review King Croc and Nico Villacresis' now, yeah. comedy set. Now, let me just preface this by saying that King Croc, he might have taken a dab. This was last night. <laughs> this was last night. He took a dab with a fan. There were these two fans who basically it was like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. We had two, two of them. Excellent, What's dude? up, dude? Fucking let's go. Who would have known that one of those assholes would become like the third biggest movie star in the world? Yeah. It's Keanu insane. Reeves. Keanu, yeah. Talent be damned. Yeah, it doesn't matter, dude. He's got a presence. Anyway, so he took a dab with a couple of Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure kind of type of guys who were awesome, who came out. Um, this is a, th there was maybe 25 people there. 18 were Danny Mullen and Leon Danny show fans. Uh, they came out for Nico and King Croc and they got their money's worth in my opinion. Now he's high and he had had maybe four or five drinks. He's completely blasted. The last thing I remember like asking him like twice if he was okay. And he was kind of like catatonic <laughs> and he's like, yeah, well, yeah, I just need food. Then he got some chicken tenders. And then he went on stage, and this is this is the first thing he says. Play. Also, King Croc, I guess he didn't sleep the night before this because right. he was here getting high with these two. <laughs> mm -hmm. with Austin. Then he came and he had to shoot with me for a full day. Are we still recording, Austin? No. Yeah, we are. Fuck it. This is important to the background. Then he shot with me for a full day, doing things including wearing a do-rag in front of the police station, <laughs> uh, pretending he was looting a CVS. Yeah. You know, fun stuff. After that, he came and we actually did a video uh, in an office very near here mm. where we had unsuspecting people off Craigslist come in and sit for a um, a product feedback session. I guess you could call it. Mm -hmm. I was posing as the CEO and King Croc was like my puppet CEO because I wanted a black guy to help sell more shit. And, he, and this social justice centric age we're in. Yeah. It ended with him destroying me with our trusty rubber bat you know uh, you know yeah. the rubber bat well good on the stunt bat and one of the marks one of the people we brought in fled for his life wow just ran which was great because i didn't have to pay him the hundred dollars <laughs> i was paying them to show up oh that's amazing it was awesome yeah it was everything we could have asked for and then he came uh, out to the the ha ha comedy club to do a set in front of 25 people that he's you know never met busy and, day uh, and this is how we started. It started from the beginning again, so we can hear, because he just, it's funny. Jungle, when I was born, the hippos were dropping in my soups, in, in, my, in my salad, I would drop them up. He's not even speaking in the mic. Yeah. Dude, use the mic. the mic. Use the mic. I told him to use the mic. Yeah. I told him to use the mic. You want to restart and why? That's it's crazy. Use the mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told him to use it. He was that fucked up, bro. What does this sweatshirt say? Use the baseball. mic. Use the mic. <laughs> Big baseball. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> got a big laugh. Yeah, so you know, <laughs> shit be going crazy sometimes. <laughs> what the fuck? It's real. It's real. And, and it's a different kind of program, funny. you know, like, what? Uh, <laughs> He's, fucked He's so up. fucked up, dude. Bro, in America, <laughs> Baba would say, go to this, this America, find all this food, my favorite wife, part. And this, and this fruit, and the everything like that. And... I can say fuck you and your motherfucking pussy. I, I hate you, Obama, -ma. Trump, suck my cock. In my own what village, the fuck? if you say you look a little like you came somewhere to bow, bow one, you go be dead. <laughs> I'm really so alive. confused, bro. So. <laughs> You guys are, it's interesting, it's nice to see. Civil rights, you know, it's absolutely <laughs> insane. <laughs> and man, fundamentally, we think about it, it's like, wow. <laughs> dude, he, he's kind of, he just didn't make any sense, but it's still sleep entertaining, talking. dude. Capitalism and the black man. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> 
What <laughs> has <laughs> strut? Yeah. White society, capitalism. What has it done for the black man? I say a, a fair amount. I mean, if you really think about in the last sixty years, I think it's over a hundred billion or something. The fastest growing rate of, of growth per decade or whatever, some shit like that. I was like, damn. Yo, he's doing real shit. <laughs> Just, what nobody fuck? knows what he was talking about. Nobody <laughs> knows what he was talking about. <laughs> I, like that, yeah, I like what we've accomplished. He's hammered, huh? Yeah, he's I, completely I really, hammered. I want to shout out, shout out somebody in the, in the crowd who was outside my car when I came here. And he offered me a dab, and I tell you, <laughs> it's you, Ricky. Wait, this is the guy. It was me, man. Yeah, this is the guy. Is that dude. the dude? That's the dude. That's to Bill and Ted. The long hair and the camo baseball cap. Yeah, bro, look at him. What a scumbag! You guys a fan? You dance oh, like huge Nino, fan. Or are you like a little? little oh, there we go. Oh, okay. like First pause, real quick. So Nico and I had to go film an intro for our video yesterday and another fan who looked not dissimilar to that parked his car in the middle of a very busy mid city intersection, sprinted at us, gave me and Nico a bone crushing hug and then started posing for photos while the light turned green and cued a symphony of horns behind his unmanned car. <laughs> That's hilarious. And uh, we're like, dude, you going to get back in there and do that? He's like, dude, I'm on fucking meth. Just oh kidding, just kidding, God. just kidding. No, nah, he was on meth. He was on fucking meth, <laughs> for sure. Wow. For sure. To ghost ride his car, or ghost neutral his car, it's not really a ride if it's parked. It's pretty awesome, man, that our fans are so adamant about meeting us and being cool. I mean, yeah, anytime you guys see us, hit us up. Yeah, man, just we'll maybe don't up. give our guys hits of dab before their inaugural comedy show. Yeah, they felt bad. They told me afterward that they felt really bad about that and that uh, they shouldn't have done that. But they thought that King Croc was like a, you know, could have hand could handle it per se. But nobody can really handle a dab and then be fine. He was also drinking. I like how he just gets up there in the ethnic character. Yeah. Like, yeah. what if a Mexican guy just got up there like, hey, I am Enrique. Yeah. Anybody want to buy a tamale? And that was his whole act, just being yeah, super Mexican. Yeah. No, no, I know he could he could pull it off, but you can see he's got he's got potential. Even, oh, yeah. even completely hammered. Listen, I he's back got, yeah. I back the king. Don't yeah. get me wrong. No, no, I know, but it's no, dude. Trust me, in person you would have been dying. And then uh, Nico, I got like two minutes of it, dude. We're gonna watch, so it'll be. Fun. We're gonna watch Nico. Nico. So King Croc is more of the laid back philosopher presence on yeah. that stage he's yeah. the patrice o'neill he's the dave Chappelle. yes nico he's a writer he wrote he's the joke smith yeah he's a joke smith. so he's i got the, he's the jesse i missed Jim about Gaffigan. a minute yeah J exactly he, i missed about a minute of his set but here's two minutes you, so you not only did you film inexplicably vertically you well, missed I, half the guy's set there was another guy that was filming for me and he was supposed to send me the footy before this podcast was it the bill and ted guy no it what a mystery why the file didn't arrive in time <laughs> that guy probably gave your cameraman a dab those guys want to start a youtube channel of course uh yeah man i would say that i fucked up because yes i had the camera guy doing it and he just i knew the file was too big to like i don't know I, it was going to be too much work to do between 1 a.m last night when i left and fucking today at noon so leo if that guy handed you the sd card containing the footage mm-hmm would you oh. have the knowledge to get that footage to Austin? Yes. This is just, a quiz. How would it work? You put in, I have one of those SD card readers on the old MacBook. Okay. It's a little attachment. So I plug that in. Doot, put the SD card in. Boop, open it. Go to the file. What I would do, because I'm retarded kind of, is open up my Google Drive, right? And then just drag it in or, t or drag it out of the SD card onto my desktop. And then put that into the Google Drive. That's like the upload best it. way to do it, dude. And then you upload it onto Google Drive. What's the woke way to do it? iMessage. It's the same thing, uh, yeah. but Colin Kaepernick is your, is your home screen. <laughs> <laughs> or um, what WhatsApp. That's that's what the that's what the kids are using these days. WhatsApp. So when Antifa schedules a rally, they do it over WhatsApp. Apparently, it's a good file sharing software. I never got WhatsApp. Continue though. Let's watch Nico do some stand up. This here. is Nico. Easily. They just turn on Animal Planet. <laughs> he said, okay, that joke, he was like, how does the Taliban jerk off? And he goes, easy. 
they just turn on the animal fight. <laughs> dude, it was, dude, it was good. It was good. It's a funny joke, yeah. but the Taliban was last relevant in 06. Exactly, dude. It just, Nico said it with so much confidence. Dude. He was kind of great, dude. Uh, like, didn't the Taliban just take over like all of Afghanistan hey, that's or true. something? that's true. You're yeah, right. They're I back. forgot about that. They're I, back. I forgot about that. I will say there's probably a 0% chance that Nico wrote that joke. Yeah, true. Now go all the way back to the beginning because he has another punchline here that's pretty funny. Go for it. So all right. They just turn on Animal Planet. Because they're goat fuckers. And, uh... That's it. You know, anybody here a fan of socialism? You know, Bernie Sanders. Oh, his impression. Hey, wait until I say this. Ready? I hate socialism, but we should bring it into the bars. It's unfair for the top 1% of men to take all 99% of pussy inside the box. You gotta redistribute the pussy. That's a good joke. We <laughs> <laughs> got a big laugh, bro. He did good, dude. He's so good. Dude, he did really good. Dude, look, he got a fucking big, like, a little ovation. My last break. Joke yeah. Is, uh... <laughs> Nobody says that, sir. He was up there for two and a half minutes, dude. My last joke is. To anybody who is not from California, the, Rodeo uh, Drive. Easy way to tell the difference between a seal and a sea lion. Oh, this is yeah. a sea lion goes, ooh, 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 and a seal goes, there's a pretty rose on the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the other words are, but. Wow. That's that fucking good. it. Oh, wait, actually, I got one more for all you Danny Mullen fans Keep out singing. there. Yeah. Keep singing. Keep yeah. singing. How many Leos does it take to replace a light bulb? None, because he likes his parking lots dark. <laughs> Dude, Nico kind of murdered, and he was so drunk and high, he threw up right after this. I told him my advice was walk out on stage with a tall glass of beer and chug it. Yeah. Because nothing you do will get a better reaction than, than that. that. No yeah. joke you tell yeah. will get a bigger rise out of the crowd than you just smashing yeah. a big Sam Adams. Oh, yeah. Did he do it? No, he didn't. He was drinking a lot before, enough to throw up, Danny. He threw up in the bathroom he right after. He doesn't that nervous. He doesn't he was, that no, He was like shaking, and then he went up there and relaxed. It was crazy. Yeah, I <laughs> swear Nico, not only, you know how we look at Nico sometimes, we just start laughing? Yeah. He has that factor about him where people just laugh yeah. at anything he does. Mm. He does have a lot of talent for stand-up. I actually will say that, and I'm not even joking. Both him and King Croc could do it. They got potential. Yeah. Now all Nico did was kind of was like st like practice like two or three jokes and then do it, and then they all honestly he probably did better than a couple of the comics that night. No joke. Yeah. How are these comics doing? They managed to draw collectively five of their own audience <laughs> members. Yeah, dude. It was all Nico and King Croc people and yeah. Leo people. Yeah, every time, bro. I, I, I mean, most of the time, I, I mean, I, I put, dude, I'm, I'm a draw at the haha, -ha, but, um, nobody can bring in people because, dude, nobody does. They just don't understand that they have to do the online game now, and they're just not gonna grow unless they do that. I mean, even guys like Delia, he said he got big on Vine, you know, and he was telling all the comedians, like, you guys aren't posting anything online. He's like, this is how I'm going to get people to come to my shows. Mm -hmm. And that worked out for him. But people, yeah. let's define people in Delia's eyes. 19-year-old girls. Wow. Well, he mean, went to the right could, platform, that Vine. He did. 19-year-old girls. And He's a genius. He doesn't really care about them being at the shows unless that leads to them later on being in his hotel room. Yeah, exactly.